Hello friends, thank you once again for watching my videos. Um, today I picked a subject that has helped me throughout my life in many, in many aspects. Today we will be discussing um, procrastination and boredom, which are two aspects that are really important in this journey because they keep us um, a strict dedicated once you discover that they are the one holding you back. Um, I discover Hawkins giving advice on procrastination um, to a student when the student asks him how can he overcome procrastination. So I will play a clip out of that lecture and I will be back on the other side of that video explaining it for those that don't understand it, but also how can you overcome them? And also, then I will explain boredom. See you on the other side. So much is that decaf on right now? Oh, it's regular. <laughs> uh, my question is, how do I overcome procrastination? I keep procrastinating things. Oh, well, take your time at it. <laughs> And then what? You don't procrastinate hard enough. Uh, <laughs> I see. Well, what do you procrastinate at? Uh, for schools, for exams. Like what? Studies. For school and exams, uh, you know, it waits the last minute to study. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You, you, you use you, poor timing. Poor self-discipline. Yes. Uh-huh. And then I just, sometimes I just decide not to study because the last day, I know I'm not going to make it, so... Look, you can always drive a cab, <laughs> be a bartender. Yeah, probably. You don't have to go to college. But I, but I procrastinate other things as well, like... Uh, uh, I keep repeating uh, of Course in Miracles, and I keep uh, procrastinating uh, when I'll do it again. Like... Uh, you do one lesson a day? Yes, when one I do it. Lesson. So how do you procrastinate? You put off today's lesson until tomorrow or what? Uh, I procrastinate when I will restart uh, doing uh, the uh, Course Miracles. So you because go to a point and then you stop. So yeah, I go to about 150 and then I stop and then uh -huh. I do it again. Start all over again. And you want to know how to continue going instead of stopping and interrupting? Yes, yes. Yes? Uh-huh. Maybe you can't. Oh, you're okay. Gonna, you're going to get half saved. <laughs> half enlightened. Half a spirit dragging itself into heaven. Belatedly. <laughs> you were due here four years ago, and now you show up. <laughs> How do I get all the way there? No, you'll have to develop an iron will. That sounds hard. Will. Will. You know what will is? Yes. Yeah. So that's your your problem is really then a lack of discipline of your will to grit your teeth, knuckle it. You'll have to practice gritting your teeth and knuckling it, white knuckling it. It is necessary to do that because you, you can't get past this barrier without the without the will. So your problem is with the will. Mm -hmm. So you, I would pray about your will and ask it for God's will instead of your own. It's your will when you skip doing a lesson. So out of humility, you could surrender your will to God's will. Try surrendering your will to God's will. Okay. Thank you. You turn your life and your will over to the care of God as you understand it. In the first part of the video, when he's suggesting to the student 
that what he's doing is that he's not procrastinating enough is because there is a limit there is a limit to how much we can do of something before we either had enough or we take action what he means by that is and it has happened to me in many aspects and i think that it happens to everyone but we don't know that we're doing it if you're in a relationship and you're not being treated the way you deserve to be treated you know how much you can put up out of being mistreated from the other person some people lie to themselves but there's only so much you can lie to yourself about in until the day that you say i had enough i'm leaving or get out also when you are doing something and it's not helping you grow there's only so much you can do of it before you get bored you can all sit down and watch and bench let's say like it happens to me when i when i'm sitting and i benching and i'm watching a show on netflix you know that after the third of the of the second of the third show like i feel like i'm tired of watching you all know when you eat you all know we all know when we eat too much of something like i love hot dogs if i eat two or three or sometimes you might go overboard and eat too much and then you feel like oh my god I, i need to it's because we all reach that limit we all reach that limit out of when we had enough so when you know you reach that limit it is that we take action or we do something about it but we can either wait until we do it enough you can always smoke enough cigarettes until you know that they're killing you then you realize that is killing you that's what happened to me and i realized that it was not healthy for me and i needed to stop so i stopped also i needed to lose weight i also i needed to eat better all these exercises are stuff that happens to wake us up and those that choose to ignore it well they're not ready to receive the information and they might not be that spiritual when you're not ready you're not ready now one night i was going to bed and the reason why i started creating this video is because a month ago which i'm excited to share this information because i think it's going to help many people that are trying to seek how to change their path how to choose something different and i feel that we are all have a gift we all have a gift that we can share with others that will help us grow and the process and will help others grow so i was watching netflix and i saw this documentary called the creative mind the creative mind speaks about the path of least resistance trying to understand the path of least resistance you can see how sometimes it can become addictive to the path of least resistance how did i discover that what happens i went to the groups that i administer on facebook and i asked all the members what is the meaning to them the path of least resistance the path of least resistance has different meanings to everyone the relaxing stage where you just don't want to argue with someone and so you just let them win you withdraw from an argument just to not cause any any you know any arguments but what happened to me is that the, i became addicted to this path which made me lazy uncreative and also less dedicated as i was watching this video which i strongly recommend is the creative mind and it's on netflix he says that you need to get off the path of least resistance to so you can challenge yourself we all need to be challenged we all need to be kindly inspired this is what life is all about to trying to grow spiritually 
or in any type you want to grow, but to constantly keep the growth in a manner that you always moving forward. The next subject is boredom. What is boredom? Boredom is that little child inside each one of us that wants to have his toy and because it's not getting it, he creates boredom. When you look at boredom and you look at what is it that you feel bored at the moment, that you're feeling bored, it is because you wish that you were doing something else and because you're not doing what you want to do, you don't find entertainment on what you're doing right now. How do you overcome boredom? Boredom takes an exercise. I meditated on boredom around two years ago that it is when I discovered that it was that boredom doesn't exist. What exists is either I'm interested in what I'm doing or I want to do something else and then because I cannot do it, I'm going to find our nomination or, or I'm going to name this just because I'm not happy at the moment. The way to overcome boredom is to be present. If you are washing dishes and you are paying attention to your dishes as you wash them, you're going to see that you will discover the present. Being present while you are doing any chore in your house or anything that you do, the process becomes a part of you. So every time that you are either using Facebook, but you do it with love as you read your posts, as you watch movies, but you watch your movies and you're paying attention into the plot, we all know when we watch a good movie and we either get emotional and we become in the plot of the movie, but it's because we are so present while we are watching the movie. We all know when we have a conversation with someone and their conversation is so deep that one, we lost track of time and yet we relate to the story that we're hearing because we are so present to the conversation. So, what about if I can apply being present to everything I do? When we apply being present to everything you do, you start living in the moment because everything you need is right here, right now. I hope that you all find these tips that I share with you helpful that some of them can inspire you if my videos help you or you feel that they can help anyone please subscribe to the channel i will be making more videos um, i'm looking to collaborate and also make more interviews with all the students and um, i'm excited to keep creating content out of which i can keep providing information for everyone to leave you I'm going to try to end every video with a, a passage from the books that got me and that keep inspiring me, that keep inspiring me into this journey. Today I'm going to use Transcending the Levels of Consciousness by David Hawkins, one of my favorites. Page 204. With relinquishment of resistance, less effort is required to function in the world. The intrinsic rewards of spiritual growth becomes self-activating. 
motivation that evolves into enthusiasm as a consequence of the more positive view of self and life. As you grow into loving your life, the enthusiasm and the dedication to live radiates from your heart towards inspiration into activities that would increase your growth. There is an attraction to positive participation in activities that are constructive. Life is enjoyed instead of resisted and it is accompanied by positive anticipation. Motivation is the consequence of inspiration instead of desire. Motivation is the consequence of inspiration. Can I get any deeper than that? Seriously. Motivation is the consequence of inspiration instead of the desire for gain. It is found that surrendering the negative payoff of egocentric positionalities, which is points of views, of goals, results in much greater rewards. I feel honored to have discovered this work and I consider David Hawkins my spiritual father. Thank you all for watching.